Hi guys, this video is going to mess up the chronology of things, but I've got to do it anyway because I need the space on my phone where I shoot the videos. My display board now has a working SD card drive, but I do want to go back in time a little bit in a future video and talk a little bit about Microchip's memory disk library. Right now though, I'm a little bit ahead of that, so I'm going to go ahead and whack Alice's Adventures in Wonderland on an SD card and insert it into the device. And what we have here is a very non-interactive text reader. If I need to take a bathroom break right now, I'll miss out on some of Alice's adventures in Wonderland. What's important though is I can open a file and read it sequentially into memory. The interface provided by Microchip's memory disk library is just like the old floppy disks. You can use fread and fopen commands, fseek and things like that. This program of course is deliberately delayed mainly by printing a frame for every byte that's read from the SD card. This segment will show me pulling out and reinserting the SD card while it's being read. The SD card socket has two switches, a memory protect switch or a write protect switch to tell the unit not to write to the card and also another a switch that's closed when you insert an SD card. It's up to you to handle checking the switches and deciding what you will and won't do to a card. This is pretty much the same text reader and the file I've loaded is a human readable ASCII map file made by GPS Map Edit. Essentially a one megabyte list of coordinates and labels. The plasma's a lot faster now just by lowering the frame delay. Rather than just looking through the file, this one's looking for the headers of polylines and points of interest. On the top two lines you'll see a count of points and lines. Points come first because they appear first in the file. For points of interest, the label is extracted and printed to the screen, and also the coordinates for the point. When a point or a line is found, the information is extracted in a single graphics frame, so it jumps along a little faster. You'll notice the scrolling information is a little more jumpy now, and that's because as the information is extracted, the file position isn't rewound to the start of the map element just to print it on the scroller. So the scroller's only left printing useless information that we didn't extract. When it comes to lines, the program's looking at every coordinate pair in the line and only printing the last one. Since this file is organised so points of interest come before lines, you won't see the points of interest updated again. Maroon is a small township in southeast Queensland close to the national park that the map covers. Next is to set up a 2D projection, plot all those points and label them, and then connect all the dots that make up those lines. 